Hello everyone, happy Veterans Day and welcome to this presentation of the correct way to trade with candlesticks. Now candlesticks are a very popular and very simple way that uh, the majority of people like to trade with. Just about every trader has viewed at one point or time or is currently using candlesticks. But it's my opinion and the opinion of specialist trading that most traders use candlesticks incorrectly. So in this presentation, I'm going to share with you what I feel is the right way to trade candlesticks and it will really increase your odds for success. Now, welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. If you're not familiar with my website, we are an educational company where all I do is teach and mentor my students the tips, techniques, and strategies that I've accumulated in my trading career. Now, the reason I can do this is because I've been trading for nearly 40 years. I started trading on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years, and nine of them I was a specialist for Donaldson, Lufkin, and Jurette. It just basically means that if you wanted to purchase or sell a specific uh, equity, you had to go to the person who specialized that in that particular stock. And specialists, there were just about roughly about 20 or 30 of them on the floor. I was one of them, and I made markets in roughly about 50 stocks. Now, I traded through the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. Uh, I've traded in just about every market environment imaginable, from straight down to straight up markets, sideways markets, quiet markets, volatile markets. And I've traded just about every technique, system, or strategy. So I know what works in terms of consistency because it's all about being consistent. I'm not really interested in something that makes millions of dollars in one month and then loses it all in the next week. So I'm, I really know what works in terms of consistency, consistency things that will span the, time, the, the, uh, the course of time. And so I teach those things to my students and to my members. These are the current techniques that I actually use in my own personal trading and that I've been using for nearly 40 years. As I stated today, I'm gonna to show you a great technique for trading with candlesticks today. I'm gonna to share with you its entirety, but before we begin, I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. We are required to show you this, uh, so I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results today using this technique with candlesticks, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Once again, we have to show you this. So as you're taking a moment to view our disclaimer, uh, I see we have a lot of new people in attendance today. So if you haven't uh, begun yet, I would like to invite each and every one of you to start following us on Twitter. You may want to write down our handle there. It's uh, abbreviation for specialist trading at SPC LST TRADG. I post daily information, anywhere from daily financial wisdom, different tidbits to help you along the way, to actual signals that our strategies have generated. In fact, some very interesting information posted yesterday about the S&P 500 coming into today. So lots of stuff to, to follow us on, and uh, just, uh, you know, it's very limited uh, the way Twitter is set up. So if you're interested in much more detailed information, such as videos and actual, uh, you know, information, more information about our courses and what we do, my sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies, has put together a Facebook page for us. And so you can like us on Facebook and go get a lot more detailed information there. Just go to ProTraderStrategies.com on Facebook. Okay. Now, as I stated, we are first and foremost an educational company because, trust me, I know what works in terms of consistency because I was right there alongside most of you who are struggling. My first year or two, I struggled tremendously and I was doing all the things I had been taught to do, the things, the conventional wisdom and, uh, you know, traditional trading, but none of it was seeming to work. In fact, I was, uh, you know, basically uh, breaking even, in fact, losing money after my first year or two of trading. And so I really didn't know how much longer I was going to be on the floor. I was lucky enough uh, to be instructed by my own mentors who were on the floor who basically taught me what to discard and what to focus on. And the main thing is, is what they really taught me is that traditional trading uh, has its flaws. And most of us are, you know, uh, having difficulty with trading because we're putting our trust or relying on uh, all of the things the conventional wisdom is supposed to, you know, uh, teach us. But most of it has no uh, levels of consistency in it. So once I started letting go of traditional trading, that's when I started to really become consistent in my trading. So this is what we do with all of our students. I teach them all the things I've accumulated that have a level of consistency. And as you can see here, my goal is to teach you, not to trade for you, not to force feed you signals, but to teach you how to trade with a specialist edge. This is the same edge that got me on the road to consistency. 
that was able to sustain my trading for some nearly 40 years now. And this is what I want to do to you, all my students and all my uh, members here and all the attendees in class today. OK, so. Uh, before we begin, now this is going to be in a classroom setting, but before we begin, I just want to start out by saying if you have any questions, kindly wait till the very end of class. We have a large crowd here today, and uh, I'm going to show you a lot of detailed information. So many times we seem to slow down the presentation if we stop every five minutes for, the, uh, for any questions. So if you have a question, kindly wait the last uh, 15 minutes of the presentation that'll probably be in about a half an hour from now if you have to leave early of having technical difficulty uh, pro trader strategies will supply you with a link to this recording because all of our all of our uh, presentations are recorded okay if you're having difficulty hearing or seeing anything many times I've been told simply turn off your computer and re-log on and things will be much better okay all right so why don't we begin let's start off by I want to be asking you a question which is does trading with conventional wisdom work? Okay, and I, I think I kind of gave it away there in the beginning, but let's show you what I was taught and how I was taught to trade most specifically candlesticks because that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about candlestick patterns. Now, I know a lot of you probably have used or are currently using candlesticks, but for those of you who aren't very familiar with them, just a brief introduction. There are many, many candlestick patterns, as you see here, anywhere from a doji to a piercing line to an evening star, shooting star, a lot of different ways in which to you know, use candlesticks. We're going to just concentrate so we don't confuse everyone and make things a little bit too difficult today. We're just going to concentrate on one pattern, and that is the engulfing pattern probably the most popular candlestick pattern and the easiest to identify. So let's just give a brief review of what that is. A candlestick bullish engulfing pattern is a two bar pattern. As you see here, there are two bars. The first bar or bar number one is a down day or close day. In other words, you open and close lower. So the body is dark. This is a dark body. All right. Now, day number two is a higher day. In other words, you open and close higher. So what you want to see is the open to close range totally engulf the open to close range of bar number one. So uh, even though in an ideal scenario, uh, bar number one is down, it doesn't necessarily have to be. You just mainly are looking for the engulfment of uh, bar number one's range by bar number two. And the reason why this is, is so popular and such a, a, a usable way to trade is because generally you'll have some type of uh, consistency to the upside for the next three to five bars. OK, now, conversely, a bearish engulfing pattern is just the opposite side of the coin. It's a two bar pattern, bar number one, bar number two. But in this case, bar number one is usually up. This is the open body from open to close. We closed higher than the opening. Now, bar number two opens and then closes lower. So it's a dark body. So what we have here is the range from open to close of bar number two totally engulfs the range from open to close of bar number one. Once again, in an ideal scenario, bar number one is up, but it really doesn't have to be. I know a lot of people uh, are not used to that, uh, that concept, but it really matters that bar number two is engulfing the open to close range of bar number one. And the reason why this is so important is that this has a propensity to go down for the next three to five bars. Now, it does not matter if we're looking at five minute bars, if we're looking at weekly bars, or if we're looking at daily bars. It will have the same consistency. Now, here is the uh, standard definition of engulfing patterns. All right. The engulfing candlestick pattern is a reversal pattern. All right. So we put in uh, uh, quotation marks there, reversal pattern. This usually occurs at the top or bottom of a trend. So in other words, if you see the trend going up, you want to look for a reversal pattern, something telling you that it's going to reverse and now go lower. That would be a bearish engulfing pattern, bearish meaning lower or negative. Conversely, if the trend is down, you want to look for that trend stopping and reversing and going back up. Therefore, if it's going up, you want to look for a bullish engulfing pattern. This is the way conventional wisdom works. This is traditional trading of the engulfing patterns and for that matter this is traditional trading of just about 90 percent of all candlestick patterns most candlestick patterns are reversal patterns we're looking for a reverse in trend so let's look at this first older example here for teaching uh purposes in cvx as we can see here where's the direction obviously down right so we're in a short-term downtrend 
Simple, very simple to easy to see. So if we're in a downtrend, we want to look for a reversal. That would mean we're looking for a bullish engulfing pattern. And guess what? Here's our bullish engulfing pattern. Two bar pattern. Bar number two's range totally engulfs bar number one's range, and bar number two closes upward. Okay, so let's say you're following this, and you jump in and you buy here, and look what happens, okay? Well, you think, well, you know what? I had a loss there. Maybe I jumped in a little bit too soon. Maybe the downtrend wasn't finished yet. And as I see here, here's a bullish engulfing pattern. So maybe this is the one that's going to work. So now you double up, you buy some more, and look what happens, okay? Look familiar to anybody, all right? Unfortunately, this is the way traditional or conventional wisdom works. There is no consistency in it. It will work every once in a while, but over time, it really doesn't. It's very similar to going and playing the slot machines. You know, it'll give you winners every once in a while to give you this false sense of security that you're doing well. But really, in reality, if over time, if you continue to use the same thing over and over again, you're gonna lose money. So. We have to ask ourselves, how do we increase our odds for success? After all, there has to be some type of validity with trading candlestick patterns. And there is. We're just going to alter things just a bit. And candlestick patterns will have a higher level of consistency if you trade them in sync with the trend. You see how this goes against everything we've ever been taught before, myself included. When I first started trading candlesticks some 30, 35 years ago, I was taught always use them as reversal patterns. It wasn't until my mentors showed me, they said, no, no, there's no consistency in that. Use them in sync with the trend. This will give you the added consistency you're looking for. Then you'll really see the power of candlestick patterns, okay? I know this goes against everything we've been taught. I know you're always trying to look for tops and then look for a candlestick pattern to, to, as a reversal of trend and reverse for the uh, bottom of trend. And I know it may work every once in a while, but over time, there really isn't a lot of consistency. So here are some very popular trending tools that you can use right now, starting today with your candlestick trading to get you in sync with the trend. First of all, indicators, a very popular uh, idea for dis discerning what the trend is, is simply to use some type of uh, moving average crossover. You can take a smaller time frame, such as a, a 20 period moving average to cross above a 50, and that tells you the overall average is up. And conversely, if it goes below 50, the overall trend is down, okay? Or you can look at patterns within the current market you're trading. Uh, higher highs, lower highs will tell you you're in some type of an uptrend. Uh, lower lows, uh, lower highs will tell you you're in some type of a downtrend. Doesn't matter what time frame you're trading, okay? And then you can also look at time frames, higher time frames to tell you what to do on the lower time frame. If you're looking at a daily bar, and that daily bar is obviously in a clear-cut downtrend, well, then you should look for that same downtrend in an hourly bar, okay? These are very common, very conventional ways of discerning the trend, okay? And I've used them all, and I have to say they're all okay. So you can start applying them right now, being in sync with the trend while applying candlesticks. And you'll see, go back and back test, go back and research, you'll see that you have a higher level of consistency if you are in sync with the trend. Here's the only problem. Roughly 35 years ago, I was introduced to probably the best trending tool I've ever come across, and that is the Pet D. All right? It's a proprietary formula that we have at Specialist Trading, and what it does, it colors your bars. It's that simple, so there's nothing to figure out. If you have a series of green bars, the short-term trend is up. And if you have a series of red bars, the short-term trend is down. So there's no countdown, there's no moving average crossovers, there's no higher time frames. Just look at the chart you're looking at. That's it. And apply the PET-D, and it automatically tells you what the trend is. It's probably one of the best uh, uh, tools I uh, learned about on my tenure on the floor of the exchange than anything else, because it really tells you so simply what the short-term trend is. But how, do we, how can we really fine-tune our way for using it with the candlesticks? Well, here's the rule with bullish engulfing patterns. We are only going to buy if the engulfing bar, that's bar number two. Remember, engulfing patterns are a two-bar pattern. But bar number two must be colored green. That's the only way we'll buy. So if we look at this chart here, this older chart in SYY, 
Once again, if you're using standard ways for discerning the trend, you'd probably look at this and say, well, there's no trend, so I'm not going to look for any candlestick patterns until I see some kind of clear-cut trend. Basically, we're just going sideways. And here's a bullish engulfing pattern, but Steve says, you know, I'll trade it within the trend, and we're just in a range here. All right? And that's very true if you just use the standard conventional indicators we talked about. But if you're using the pet D, all you have to do is apply that, and now the pet D automatically changes the colors. And now it's giving you the green light to take this. Because remember, if you get a bullish engulfing pattern, as we see right here, bar number two must be colored green, which it is. So it's giving you the green light. And SYY went up five points in one week. Where before, you probably would have been on the sidelines and said, I'm not going to trade this because there's no trend. Well, now you see how finely tuned the pet D is and how it can help you find those short-term trends. Now, conversely, bearish engulfing patterns. Remember, two-bar pattern, bar number one is usually up, bar number two is usually down. We're only going to sell if the engulfing bar, which is bar number two, now is colored red. All right, so that's how simple it is. So we see here in this uh, older chart of DVN, obviously, we are in some type of a short-term downtrend. And we have two bearish engulfing patterns. Now, this goes against everything you've ever been taught. And I know it's difficult. Many of you would say, well, how can I sell when we're going lower? We're supposed to be using these as reversal patterns. But remember, in my 38 years, I found no consistency in that application of candlesticks. So if the trend is down, we want to go short. But let's confirm it with the pet D. Remember, bar number two at least bar number two, if both bars are colored red, that's great, but at least bar number two has to be colored red. So if we apply the pet D, guess what? Every bar is red. So we're good to go. So you could sell DVN there and look what happened. See how easy it is when you're in sync with the trend? So right there, you probably got a nice trade. You feel very good, but you're a little scared. And all of a sudden, conventional wisdom is starting to creep back up again because we've gone down pretty far very quickly and you're met with two bullish engulfing patterns. So at this time, you're probably saying, well, that Steve Primo guy just got a little bit lucky. I really have to take these buy signals because we're most likely going to bottom out. I don't care if the pet D is red. You've got to you know, use this as a reversal pattern because this is the way I was always taught. All right, well, what if you would use those as reversal patterns? Look what happened. You see how there's no consistency in that? Be much better just to stay short on the original two sell signals. And if you happen to miss those, don't worry. There's always another one coming up, as we see here. Later on, there was another sell signal. Now, at this point, you're probably saying, how can I in any way apply this signal? We've gone all the way from all the way up here, all the way down here. How can I still be saying I have to go short? We've come down about a good nearly 20 points, and now uh, I'm supposed to still sell the market? Remember, there's more consistency when you trade with the trend as opposed to trying to pick a bottom or top. And look what happened. See how the market is always trying to tell you to come on board? It's mostly the reason why we lose is because we're holding on to these conventional uh, trading techniques that really have no consistency in them. Trying to pick bottoms and tops based off reversals will work every once in a while, but over time, you're not going to have a lot to show for it. The way to get consistent and be trading 20, 30, 40 years down the road is to be in sync with the trend when you're trading candlesticks. And in my 38 years of trading, the best tool I know for being in sync with the short-term trend is the pet D, as you see here. In fact, let me show you some more examples. Let's start off with stocks, some, for, some more recent stock examples, just to show you how you know consistent this technique is. Here's a chart in PSA. Now, I know this is an expensive stock, but I say this because we have a lot of traders who use this technique at specialist trading and who trade options. So they say, well, Steve, I can't afford to purchase a $200, $300 stock, but I can go long the calls on these, or if it's a sell signal, I can purchase the puts. So as we see here in this chart of PSA coming into October, just this past month or so, all the bars were green. So are we going to sell? No, because the trend is up. If the trend is up, we're looking for bullish engulfing patterns. Now, if you're still holding on to, to past you know, uh, traditional trading, you would have noticed this bearish engulfing pattern and probably would have taken that sell signal. But now that you have the pet D, you would have completely bypassed that and noticed the bullish engulfing pattern. And that's the one you'd be interested in because you're in sync with the trend. So you could have purchased the uh, 210 calls and the stock quickly goes up 10 points in the next week or two. All right. 
At this point, you might start to get a little scared and say, boy, that was lucky on that one, but it can't go up any higher. After all, here's another bearish engulfing pattern. Which color are the bars? They're green, so you shouldn't be selling anything. More uh, importantly, you should probably be doubling up your position and buying some more calls here at 220 because we have another bullish engulfing pattern. And the stock went up 25 points in one month coming into November. All right. You see how the pet D will always keep you in sync by coloring the bars and how the candlesticks will add structure telling you when to get in. How about MOS? OK, this was also coming into October, uh, middle October. Looking at this, one would say, well, you know, there's no clear cut path here. We're just basically in a range going up, going back down. I'm not going to do anything until I see a, a trend established. OK, well, that's fine. And once again, if you use conventional uh, trading techniques, you would probably have to wait a long time or you'd miss a lot because uh, if the pet D is already telling us that we're already in a downtrend. Look at how the pet D has colored everything red. All right. Even though we were going up a, a small portion of this time the bars continue to be red. So all of these little bounces were just, uh, you know, little upward moves in an overall downtrend. So if all the bars are red, that's telling us the trend is going lower. What does that mean we should be looking for? Look for bearish engulfing patterns. And lo and behold, there's one right here at 39. So we could have taken that one, knowing that we are actually in a downtrend, and the stock dropped eight points in two weeks, okay? Had you waited for the movement to go down by using some conventional indicators, you would have missed your chance. How about Facebook? And I'll show you this example specifically to show how you can trade in and out of the markets. Okay, now, It's not just uh, all the time about catching these large trends. Many times you can get in and out in a matter of days. As we look here coming into October, the bars were red and then they started to turn green. Once they turned green, well, guess what? We found a bullish engulfing pattern on the third green bar, and we had a nice move upwards from roughly 92 to 96. Later on, we have a bearish engulfing pattern, and bar number two is red, so it meets the qualifications to go short. So the stock now goes down from 92 down to 87, okay? You're having some nice room to move here. You could have taken some profits, could have taken one, two, three points out of both of these setups. And then later on, we see here that Price is starting to go upwards, and lo and behold, another bullish engulfing pattern. Now, even though this bar number one is not um, down, remember I said in the very beginning, uh, that's a more ideal scenario, but it doesn't have to be. All that matters is that bar number two is engulfing the open to close range of bar number one. Okay, that's a bullish engulfing pattern, and guess what? Now we go up higher. Now, at this point, you probably say, boy, I've had three really great trades uh, in the last uh, month. But it's getting a little scary now, and after all, there is a bearish engulfing bar here, so I'm going to take this and go short. We're not going to take it. Why? Because both bars are green. So much be much better if you just bypass that, because look what happened. All right. And all the opportunity Facebook gave you coming into November, you roughly had about 20 points to the upside to work with. Now, we show you this. This is crude oil. Now, this is an older chart of crude oil in last summer, but just to show you how most people trade uh, conventional uh, wisdom type of candlestick patterns, especially uh, bullish and bearish engulfing. Looking at this chart right here, some would say, well, we're in a short-term downtrend, and maybe we're hitting the bottom, or maybe the blog I check out says that crude oil should bottom out, or maybe that chat room or trading room I go to has a lot of buyers there. They're touting some support level or, or maybe the institutions that that program I purchased that tells me what the institutions are doing. Uh, they've all gotten into crude oil. So on top of that, I see a bullish engulfing pattern. So I'm going to buy. And so you purchase there and look what crude oil does. But once again, maybe you jump the gun. So you purchase at the next bullish engulfing pattern. After all, this is a reversal pattern. So you need to, uh, you know, Trading uh, uh, traditional ways always tells us that candlesticks are best used as reversal patterns. So hopefully this is going to reverse and go back up, but it goes lower and lower and lower until ultimately you have five losses in a row using conventional wisdom to trade candlesticks. OK, remember, trading candlesticks conventionally will work every once in a while, just the way a slot machine will pay off every once in a while. But over time, you're not going to have anything
to show for it. It would have been much better this past summer if you had simply applied the PET D to crude oil chart, the exact same chart, and you would have seen here that the majority of the bars were red starting in June and going into the remainder of the summer. If the majority of bars are red, all we need to do now are look for bearish engulfing patterns. So instead of five losers in a row, you now have six winners in a row because you're now trading bearish engulfing pattern uh, uh, that are bearish engulfing patterns that are in sync with the pet D. All right, now I don't trade sugar, but here's a chart of sugar coming into November this past month, okay? Uh, this past week, actually. Now, once again, someone could look at this and go, well, Steve, yeah, it's easy to say uh, in hindsight that this is in an uptrend. I don't need the pet D to tell me that we're in an uptrend because looking back uh, in um, September, we started to come higher. So the main thing, how could I have taken advantage of this before the great uptrend started? Well, look at the bullish engulfing pattern we had here four days into the rally. OK, you think that could have helped you? And even if you had missed that, there was another one just a couple of weeks ago. So you're seeing this not only work in stocks, but also in uh, crude oil and commodities such as sugar. And let's move on to E-minis now because it works just as well in the E-mini markets. Let's start out with a daily chart of the E-mini futures. This is the beginning of last month, October. Now, a lot of people were really scared of the markets. They were um, telling us, uh, well, you know, that's it. August, we fell out of bed and we're probably just going to bounce here a little and then make lower lows. The market's going to fall out of bed. In fact, there were even predictions about having a new crash happen because of some astrological lining up of the stars or whatever. A lot of people were really bearish. In fact, I even spoke at a conference where the majority of the speakers were saying we were going to have a very impending crash coming very soon. And then when people asked me, I said, well, uh, you know, I always go in sync with the trend and the trend is up. And they said, how can you say that the trend is up? I said, well, I follow a tool called the PET-D, which is probably the best tool I know for the sh finding the short-term trend. And in October, all right, we had our first green day, as you can see there, not to mimic the band, but the green bar there. And it was a bullish engulfing pattern, and bar number two was colored green. So this was telling me that we were most likely going higher. All right, we have the confidence of using candlestick patterns, which do have a level of consistency to them. And then we have the confidence of knowing that the bars are now turning green. So we have a level of consistency there. So when we add the two together in this candlestick combo, we really have increased our odds for success. So this is why I was bullish. This was the first week of October. In fact, I think the setup was on October 3rd. And look what happened. Coming into November, the futures were up 160 points in one month. Okay, that's $8,000 if you've just taken that one signal trading one contract and we're not saying everyone at specialist trading who's a member of our candles to combo would have held out this long but still we're giving you high probability setups and you can decide where you want to get in where you want to get out but look at the beauty of the pet d the entire time everyone was waiting for a large sell-off in the market the pet d continued to color the bars green now we know not everyone holds e-mini futures overnight so let's go down to an hourly time frame Okay. This is the, the last week of October, just a few weeks ago, the 28th of October, coming into the 3rd of November, just last week. Obviously, we're in an uptrend. The majority of the bars are green. How could we have taken advantage of this? Because once again, most people will look at that and say, well, yes, yeah, Steve, it's easy to see we're in an uptrend, but how could I have taken advantage of gotten in at the very beginning? Well, how about there? There's a bullish engulfing pattern. Bar number two is colored green, so it meets all the requirements. And in the next four days, you could have, if you held out long enough, you could have accumulated 30 points. That's $1,500 per contract. Now, 60 minutes is still a long time, an hourly time frame. A lot of people don't want to hold positions overnight. So let's go to a five-minute chart. That was Monday, all right? That was this Monday. Now, coming in to the day of Monday on Friday, we were going higher and the bars were green. But the first three bars of Monday on the 9th, as you see down here, were colored red, telling us that we are now in a downtrend. Now, looking back in hindsight, in the first hour of the day, someone would say, boy, how could I have taken advantage of that sell-off? Well, in the first 15 minutes, there was a bearish engulfing pattern. In the first 30 minutes, there was another one. And then an hour later, there was another one. If you had taken just this first signal, that would have been 15 points in just three hours or $750 per contract had you decided to stay in for the first three hours, okay? 
And this was just two days ago, folks. I mean, we're not cherry picking all these examples from last month or six months ago. We're showing you what happened just a few days ago. This is a five minute chart. So you see how this works intraday trading. You see how it works on, uh, on crude oil on how it works on commodities. And you see how it works on stocks. Let's go to the Forex markets. Let's look at one last market here for all you currency pair traders. If we look at this older chart of the Euro dollar, okay, someone could say, well, We've kind of gone up, but it looks like we're rolling over. Oh, there's a bullish engulfing pattern. But how do we have the confidence to take this trade? Because we know now that, well, you know, we can't just trade a bullish engulfing pattern based off the pattern anymore. We have to be in sync with the trend. It's easy. You just apply the pet D, and bar number two needs to be colored green. We apply the pet D. Lo and behold, bar number two is green. So now you have the confidence to take this setup and the euro dollar gained 600 pips in three days. That's $6,000 per contract if you had held out for three days. See how the market really mostly tells you all the time what it's going to do? It's just our job to jump on board. We have to, but most of the time we don't have the proper tools knowing when to jump on board. That's what the pet D does. How about this weekly chart of the Australian dollar? We're showing you an entirely different time frame. All right. Now, here is a conventional way of trading bearish engulfing patterns as we see here. We're in a, a short-term uptrend and now we're met with some type of uh, short-term top here with a bearish engulfing. Is it okay to take this one? This one falls in line with traditional trading. Well, we're not concerned with conventional wisdom. We're only concerned with what the pet D tells us. If we apply the pet D, we want to see that bar number two is colored red. So we apply the pet D and lo and behold it is. So bar number two is red. It meets all the requirements. And look what happened. This was in uh, May coming into June of this year. Had we held it all the way up coming into September, October, that's 900 pips or roughly about $9,000 per contract in just three months. That's trading one contract of the Australian dollar. Okay. All right. So let's recap. Let's review what we went over today. And we'll, then we'll go into the question and answer portion because I know you may have a lot of questions. First of all, only buy or sell candlestick patterns that are in sync with the pet D. You've seen how powerful this simple tool is. I know that you want to be in sync with the trend, and I share with you three common conventional ways in which to find the trend. But in my opinion, nothing works as well as the pet D. All right, those things are just basically overall tools. They're very generic, and they're not going to fine tune and pinpoint these trend changes. Oftentimes, before the move even starts, the way the pet D would. In my 38 years of trading, I found nothing better for finding the short-term trend than the pet D. And remember, you can apply the pet D. I just showed you how it works on five-minute charts. I showed you how it works on weekly charts. I showed you daily charts. I showed you commodities. I showed you uh, currency pairs. I showed you stocks and futures. It works in everything and anything. And this is just one candlestick pattern. You can virtually apply this with any candlestick pattern. So. Here are the points to remember, because I'm sure these are part of the questions you're most likely going to have. Very, and very important, what we went over today. This is not a complete strategy. All I did was share with you was the correct way to implement uh, your candlestick trading, okay? This was not a full-fledged strategy, though, because why? We didn't talk about stop placement. Well, where are you going to protect yourself? Because I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every trade works out every time. How are you going to enter? We didn't talk about any entries. How about advanced entries? All right. How about exiting? Where are you going to exit? You're going to stay in the entire time. You're going to get out for a quick profit. How about advanced exits? And then finally, money management. How are you going to know how to control your, your, your trading or how to manage it? Or how many contracts, how many shares are you going to be using? These are extremely, extremely uh, important points to remember because they're all pieces of the puzzle that make up a complete strategy. The trouble is most people come into a trading uh, environment without all the pieces of the puzzle. They don't know how to trade it. They just said, well, I've, I've read the books or I've gone to the webinars. I kind of see what candlesticks are, whatever. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure where to get in or where to get out, but I kind of understand them bas very basically. Well, here's what we're offering today. I'm going to offer you the two things I shared with you. That is strategy number five, which is our candlestick strategy for all markets, stocks, forex, ETFs, and E-mini, 
as well as the PET-D. That's the Primo Early Trend Detector. So we're offering both of these today. This is instant course access. You don't have to wait for anything to be mailed or shipped to you. You don't have to wait uh, for, uh, you know, uh, a lot of verification and weeks and finally get all access to everything. You can have it ASAP. All right, detailed instruction. I'm going to go over all the entries, all the exits, and all the stops. This comes with signal alerts as well. We're also providing you with four separate pet D trading techniques. These are on top of the actual strategy that comes with strategy number five. Remember, this includes both the add-ons, so in other words, the up and down arrows for uh, strategy five generated signals, as well as coloring the bars for the pet D. And lastly, and I think most importantly, because we are an educational company, lifetime correspondence. You're going to be able to uh, correspond with me whenever you like, whenever you want. Okay. I'm your instructor for life. So this isn't something, whereas, you know, uh, you, you pay for it and then it's over in a couple of weeks. Uh, and then that's it. You're basically on your own. I will be there to answer questions, uh, because you are now a, a student member of mine for life. In fact, let me show you what happened two weeks ago. It's too bad I didn't give this presentation two weeks ago because you could have taken advantage of this. There was a lot of news uh, about Pandora because of uh, the shares plunging. And in fact, Yahoo Finance reported that Pandora loss widens as costs jump, shares plunge after hours. This was on the 23rd of October. It states that Pandora Media, a provider of music streaming services, reported a bigger quarterly loss as content acquisitions costs nearly doubled sending its shares sharply lower after hours. Uh, the shares were down 20.5% at 15 and a quarter in aftermarket trading. So this is what was happening even before the next day's trading started. Let me show you how well strategy number five, as well as the PET-D work in conjunction with each other many times in advance of news events such as this. If we look at the chart, of Pandora just three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, we see here that doesn't look like much is happening, kind of in a uh, sideways to lower type of range, but not, not much concern for anything. But if we apply the PET D, we see here that the bars were uh, coming in uh, October were mainly green, but then they started to have the majority red. And then on the 14th and 20th, we had two cell signals. All right. These were strategy number five cell signals. Okay. And we all know what happened later on in the week. The stock fell eight points or 40% in one week. This is before the news of the earning came, earnings came out. This is before anything uh, of that nature was uh, submitted or, or uh, put out there for the world to see. The market was telling you most likely it's going lower. And the pet D as well as strategy number five were just giving you structure, telling you how to jump on board before it, it even came out. So this is the beauty of this. In fact, that was roughly a, a couple of weeks ago. Let me show you what happened today, all right, for all you inter-term uh, uh, traders, uh, and, or I should say uh, active uh, intraday traders. Here's a range bar of the E-mini. This was the end of yesterday's action, and here was the first hour or two of today's action, okay? As we see here, we put them in candlestick form in range bars, and Coming into this uh, end of yesterday from roughly 10.30 Pacific time up until the close, the bars were green. And then in the first half hour of today's trading, we turned red. So how could we have taken advantage of that? Well, remember what we talked about, uh, the bullish engulfing patterns, which is a part of strategy number five, which is a portion of our strategy. Well, look at all the buy signals that were generated going up into today. That was yesterday. Now in today's uh, trading, the first hour of today's trading, guess what? A bearish engulfing pattern was generated right at the top. And you could have taken advantage of that with strategy number five, with all the rules for entry, stop placement, exit. And in just the two days, you could have made roughly 12 points trading one contract. That's $600. And that's basically just about four hours trading. A couple of hours the end of yesterday and a couple of hours today. Okay. So once again, we're not just cherry picking. We're showing you things that actually happened as recent as a few hours ago using these techniques, strategy number five and the pet D. We call this our candlestick combo because it's so popular. It's one of our most popular packages and we're offering an attendee discount today. Now these are extremely, extremely powerful uh, a combo package to use, very popular. We have many people around from hedge fund traders uh, around the world to actual uh, currency pair traders to people that are just trading for the first time using this. But the usual cost is somewhere close to $3,200. We're dropping that today 
down to $24.95 with payment plans. Now, the reason why we really are dropping is because, first of all, we want to take care of our attendees. We want to give them discounts and make sure that they're all learning and, and being members of specialist trading. But more importantly, we have to tell you the Pet D along with the combo is so popular that the price of the Pet D is most likely going up at the beginning of the year. In fact, you will most likely have to pay higher as well as pay monthly fees. But if you purchase this all right now for $24.95, it's all yours. And there's no uh, you know, monthly payments or even yearly payments you have to come up for add-ons. It's all yours right there. The best thing about this is we have payment plans. If you can't make that one sum, well, guess what? You can start uh, with a small payment plan today and you can be up and running as soon as tomorrow. So let me show you how you can take advantage of this great discount and how you can be up and running in just a matter of moments, actually. Remember, I stated Pro Trader Strategies is my sister site. They market and promote all of my courses. Here is their info for their website, ProTraderStrategies.com. You can email them to set up a payment plan at trading at ProTraderStrategies.com or call them directly and talk to one of their trading consultants on the floor and they can actually put you in uh, in with a payment plan really soon and you can be up and running as early as today. Call them at 310-598-6677. Now, here is the link that will take you directly to the sign-up page to get that deep discount if you'd like. You just simply have to copy and paste that. But if you look in the right-hand corner in the chat box, I believe Pro Trader Strategies has already posted a live link. So all you have to do is simply uh, uh, click on that live link in the chat box, and it will automatically take you there. Okay? There's some more information about the Pet D. As you see, it works on MT4. It also works on TradeStation, MetaStock, NinjaTrader, Sierra Charts, Interactive Brokers, FCXM, and also Thinkorswim users can use live free stock data to run a free Ninja Trader uh, chart, and we help you set that up, okay? So we take care of all that for you at no extra cost. So I'm gonna leave this information so that you can call Pro Trader Strategies, put together some type of payment plan, and take advantage of this, and you can be up and running ASAP. Let me just open up the question and answer box very quickly. Um, let's see. Uh, Penelope says, you are showing winning trades. I'm sure uh, there were times that the Petty was wrong for transparency. You should show those also. Well, trust me, there are a lot. And I even stated in the very first uh, opening statements that we only work in terms of consistency. All right. Consistency means two steps forward, one step back. In other words, I think I, I said in the very first opening statements that I'm not interested in teaching and sharing methods that generate uh, millions of dollars, but then lose it all. We're more interested in consistency, things that, you know, have two winners, lose one every once in a while, then make it back, have another winner, maybe have a small loss again. That's what we're interested in, and that's what we promote and teach. So uh, uh, if I didn't go into detail, that's what we do, uh, knowing that we do have small losses from time to time, but that's just inevitable. That's like saying uh, someone doesn't play, uh, you know, baseball all the time and hits a home run every time he comes up to bat. It's, it's just common knowledge that you're going to lose or, and going to strike out every once in a while. OK. Uh, let's see. Jeff asks or states, I found that many data providers have different open prices, which could change a candlestick pattern. How does one deal with this? Well, Jeff, the main thing is deal with just the chart you're looking at. Don't worry and don't try to second guess uh, data, uh, you know, references and stuff. If there is a candlestick pattern that is generated, then use it. OK, if there isn't, don't worry about it. OK, there's nothing you can do because you're going to be spinning your wheels going back and forth to different data sources to try and find one that works. That's just the price of doing business. That's just what different data sources do. I know I know that's true. Sometimes I'll be looking at TradeStation and the chart looks entirely different than it would on possibly another charting software package. Doesn't mean that it's wrong. And oftentimes it works the opposite way. It will give me a perfect setup where I have a really nice trade. Whereas the other charting software package didn't have a setup because of a different data source. So uh, it will come back to you. Don't, don't I wouldn't uh, really spend a lot of time worrying about that. OK. Uh, uh, Linus asks, would this also work for X, uh, FX scalping, uh, like such as a one minute chart? Oh, yes, Linus. I'm sorry I didn't go into more intraday charting with uh uh, with Forex currency pairs, but yes, it does. It works fantastic. We have a lot of currency pair traders all over the world, and they use it on uh, tick charts, one minute bars, 10 minute bars. It's up to you. But you'll, you know, wherever you have the same type of uh, action, you'll see the same setups. 
it's very consistent and you'll see it all over the place okay um, Remember, if you happen to miss the beginning or if you had technical difficulties with sound or vision, contact ProTrader Strategies and they will send you a link to the recording. OK, uh, let me see here. I don't want to miss anyone. I see there's lots of questions. Uh, are these standalone or do you need a METS type program? Uh, remember, um, if you're asking about which type of programs they work on, let me repeat those again. The PET D works and uh, strategy number four as well. They work on MT4, TradeStation, Metastock, NinjaTrader, Sierra Charts, Interactive Brokers, FCXM. And there's uh, it works on Thinkorswim as well, but it also it has a few changes it needs to make. You can use the free data uh, from your stock data from Thinkorswim and apply that to a ninja trader uh, uh, platform we supply all that for you for free it's all put together very simple our tech support will help you set that up okay um, uh, let's see here does this work with a schwab account uh, you know what that would probably be a, I, I don't know i'm not really affiliated with schwab so i can't really tell you that i would probably contact the people at pro trader strategies and they can uh you know have anything uh answered for you so that you know you can, they can most likely tell you that information uh uh teresa says why even bother with candlestick patterns and just use the color to trade by that's a good question teresa well the only reason is because uh, the color is not, you know, it's not a strategy. I don't want, it's like saying, well, why even bother uh, <clears throat> with uh, looking at a strategy? Just use the moving average or the stochastics. Those aren't strategies. Those are just indicators. And the same way the PET D is just a trend identifier. Now, with you still need structure within the trend. So here's the way we do it. We find the trend and the PET D tells us the trend. OK, but now you need structure, some type of structure in order to uh, ride the trend. It's similar to, uh, you know, uh, let's say going to a, a very fast moving river. OK, uh, you found out that the trend is very strong going south. OK, you're just not going to jump into the water because you have no way to, to guide yourself within the water. And the, the trend or I should say the uh, the rapids may kill you or the really strong uh, uh, movement of the of the uh, water really may beat you up. So you need some type of structure to maneuver yourself within that current and that's for you need some type of boat sometimes and that's what a strategy is so therefore we can't just trade the trend because you know there's certain different ways where you may get uh, you know struggle with it you may feel like well gosh is this the beginning or end of it I all of a sudden they see a red bar what does that mean we teach you how to use the trend how to implement in the pet D course we teach you structure, how to trade within the trend, how to maneuver within the trend in the strategy number five course. So the best way is to think about it, a very strong uh, current in a river. You're not going to just jump in because someone can say, why not just jump in the river? It'll get you from point A to point B. Well, you may get killed, you know, in that strong trend with the rapids. It's better to have a boat and the boat is simply structure and structure in this case is the strategy. OK, I hope that answers your question. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, can we know how to avoid false signal? Well, uh, Hassan asks, how can we avoid false signals? One of the best ways to avoid false signals is by applying the PET D, because the PET D is your confirmation tool in this particular strategy. So many times, the reason why you have a false signal is because you're out of sync with the trend. And you, perhaps you're using, you know, an overall tool for telling you what the trend is, but it's not as... Uh, you know, it's not as fine tuned as the pet D. So that's why I love the pet D because even though it's not perfect, nothing is, oftentimes it will keep you out of those false signals. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, someone's asking, Raymond's asking about an Option Express account. Once again, those are those are good questions for Pro Trader Strategies. Okay. Uh, Gary's asking, how long is this offer available? Gary, this offer is only available for the next couple of days. So this is not something that we're going to, it's going to go back up a high, another six or $700. And then most likely starting uh, within the next month or two, it's going to be much higher because the price of the pet D is going up and you'll most likely have to pay uh, a payment. It's going to be a payment plan uh, either every quarter or perhaps even every month. That's the way pro traders, trader strategies is setting it up because 
the candlestick combo, which I talked about today, is, is one of our most popular and successful in terms of consistent uh, methods to date. So really, if you want to take advantage of this, this is a great time to take advantage, especially because we're offering payment plans as well. OK. Uh, Rodrigo asks, can you say pet these limitations? Well, the pet these limitations, like everything else, in other words, it's not in terms of being limited, but I'm not just going to tell you that every once in a while, uh, it, it will give you a false start within the trend. And that's, that's normal. But, but, uh, trust me, it does it far less than standard or conventional ways of telling you what the trend is. Okay. I'm, trust me, I'm not going to tell you that it works 100% of the time. Nothing does. And if anyone tells you that, I, I think you should run. I'm just trying to share with you things that have a very, very high level of consistency. Remember, consistency is two step forward, one step back. But the only trouble is most traders trade the opposite. They trade one step forward, two steps back. I know this from firsthand experience because this is the way I used to trade myself. So it wasn't until I started using things like this, such as uh, uh, strategy number five, as well as uh, the pet D that my trading started to become consistent. So I'm just sharing with you the same things that were able to turn my trading around. That's what sustained me for 38 years. So uh, these are nothing that I haven't used myself and that I continue to use as well. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see. Hosam asks, you, have you a trading system that we can attach if it was made stock? If yes, how much is it? Well, uh, Hassan, this is uh, applicable with Metastock. You can use all of this with Metastock that I went over today. So this is a great trading strategy. But remember, we don't trade systems. Systems mean that you have to trade them the same way each and every time. We only teach and trade strategies, okay? So trading strategies is, is, is totally different because uh, it gives you the, the option of, of making a choice whether you want to trade aggressively, if you want to trade conservatively, and things of that nature, okay? Now, I know a lot of people are asking about different platforms and different brokers you can use. Those are best things applied and used for, uh, and asked of pro trader strategies. You can shoot them an email or just call them directly. They'd be happy to tell you what, what the best. I My job at Specialist Trading is mainly just to teach how to trade, okay? In terms of platforms and add-ons and uh and uh you know videos and things of that nature tech support they're much better at answering those okay oksana asks uh, do you teach how to scan for stocks well uh you know we you don't really teach that what we basically say is <clears throat> the best way to scan is in the beginning is because you're going to see literally you know tons and tons of these signals generated on a nightly basis uh, depending on what market you're looking at so we tell all of our traders to just focus on maybe you know to get a, a stock list maybe 10 20 30 tops at the most and just look over those as often you know every night on a nightly basis okay therefore you don't go crazy trying to scan every night for a million and one stocks it's just it's just uh it's not practical enough so we always tell our students in the beginning you know, and I think most traders do this. They just focus on a good 10 or 20 stocks, and then they scan those on a nightly basis for signals. So those are the ones you feel comfortable with. Those are the ones that fit your trading style. Those are the ones that are in your price range, okay? So this is what we would suggest with any type of scanning, okay? It's just about time to go here. I just want to mention one last time. Remember, this is one of our most popular, popular combos, the candlestick combo. It combines one of our best strategies that works with any candlestick uh, uh, formation. That's uh, strategy number five in tune with the pet D. Now, strategy number five, if you just used it by itself, would be a very good strategy. But once you kick it in line with the pet D, you've really increased your odds for success. Here's the beauty of the pet D. You don't simply have to apply it with strategy five. If you have another strategy that you're saying to yourself, well, it's okay, I don't mind it, it's making me a little bit of money, you can apply that to the Pet D. And we teach you how to do that in the Pet D course. And I'm really confident that you'll be able to even increase the odds for success with that strategy. So it doesn't have to be one of mine. The best thing is that it's already been formatted, strategy number five in the Pet D, so there's nothing you have to do. I teach you everything, how to apply it in the course. You know exactly what to do and what not to do. All the different signals, all the entries, you get the add-ons, the buy and sell indicators, as well as the add-on for changing the colors, okay? It's a really, really great technique. So if you're serious about taking your trading to the next level for 2016, contact the people at Pro Trader Strategies, and they will get you set up really quickly. But please remember, this discounted price of roughly about six or $700 is only gonna last for a couple of days. On top of that, uh, 
that includes the uh, payment plans as well. Remember, you don't have to come up with that one lump sum. You can come up with a small deposit and still be up and running ASAP, okay? Uh, also, you can also uh, remember that the price of the pet D by itself is going up. So this will increase the price of the combo as well. We are most likely going to increase the price of the pet D and you'll have to pay payment plans. So it's in your best interest to take advantage of this right now so that you can uh, you can make sure that you're in sync and, and really uh, at using all of this these great techniques at a, at a really good price, okay? In conclusion, I want to thank you all so much for attending today. Uh, once again, I wish you all a, a, you know, a great week and a great trading week, as well as a great Veterans Day. And I really look forward to all of you having success and consistency in your trading. And most of all, I look forward to all of you becoming students and members of mine at Specialist Trading. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.